What's up agents, Zero here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition Redstone video. Um, actually, hold on. Let's do this. What's up agents, Zero here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition Redstone video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at a redstone-powered item elevator. Now, I've seen a number of different item elevators uh, through the years. However, there's none of which I actually particularly like altogether. So what I've done is I've went ahead and built one of my own. So this is just a small example. So say you've got some sort of automatic farm or something and you've got items flowing into hoppers which are then going to go upwards. Just to give this little bit of example, we've got 10 items, 10 diamonds in there. If I go ahead and flick this lever off you're going to see the hopper is going to start dispensing items into the system and they're going to all jump up to the top chest right here. Now over here I've gone ahead and set up everything that we're going to need. In order to build this you're going to need nine pieces of redstone dust, six comparators, one repeater, you're going to need a ton of uh, building blocks, redstone torches, you're going to need your droppers and obviously um, you're going to need something that they're going to end up landing in. In this case, it's going to be a chest. So the first thing you want to do is you want to set up an area that is four wide and six long. So we're going to go ahead and take our droppers and we're going to be building a tower out of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm just going to go that high for the purposes of this tutorial. And then we're going to put our chest down here. Then we drop back down. What we want to do is we want to put down a redstone comparator right here. And that's going to be face running into a block. Then from here we want to take our redstone repeater, place it here. Then we want to take two redstone dust, put them like this. And then two more redstone dust and put them on like this. Then what we want to do is take two comparators, place them like this. Then two comparators, place them just like this. Then what you want to do is put a comparator right here. Click it once so it's now in subtract mode. Then you want to run redstone dust around like this. And then you're going to run two pieces of redstone dust here. Now the last step to this item elevator is actually creating a redstone torch uh, zipper. So we're going to put a block here and then we're going to put a redstone torch here. Then we're going to take another block. We're going to put on top of this torch and put a redstone torch right here. And this process just continues all the way up. So let me go ahead and build this really quick. So we've got that going there. Get another block. Now, how many uh, uh, building blocks you're going to need, torches um, you're going to need, and dispensers you're going to need. Sorry, not dispensers, droppers. Um, all depends on how high you want it to go. So you're going to need at least one building block, and then you're going to need twice as many torches and blocks as you are going to have uh, droppers. So now that that's all done, we actually have our entire torch uh, uh, item elevator put together. So let me go ahead and throw in, I don't know, 10 of these things. All right, so it starts dispensing, and obviously they come all the way to the top. Oh, I did not mean to do that. So... Yeah, that's basically how this um, elevator is built. Now, let me go ahead and explain to you what's going on here. So, when an item enters this uh, dropper right here, I gotta get my uh, names right, it then activates this comparator, which goes straight into this block, which then activates this uh, repeater. And then it runs into this comparator clock. Now, and then once it goes through the comparator clock, it's going to run into this comparator, which, as I said before, is in subtract mode, which gives power all the way around to the side to create a clock. And then it goes all the way to our redstone torch uh, zipper. Now, you are going to notice that this piece of redstone dust is, in fact, running into this comparator. However, that does not make a difference because this is in subtract mode. It's going to power itself and then lose power to create the clock effect. However, since this one is not in subtract mode, nothing happens. 
Now, one thing I do want to mention about this particular design is that it does not constantly tick. The reason why it ticks is because one of these droppers is empty. As soon as every single one of these droppers has an item in it, the system will be completely silent. Now, once this uh, bottom dropper goes empty, it will start ticking again up until the redstone completely shuts off. Over here I have a couple other examples and I do want to quickly point out that there is technically a limit to how high you can build one of these. And the reason for that is strictly because of the comparator clock right here. Now, as soon as this uh, dropper has no more items in it left and it's all done, that means that this comparator will be off, this repeater will be off, which means this uh, comparator clock will start to run out of power and then eventually stop this clock and stop dispensing the items. Now the way, reason why this works is because comparators, they do not restart uh, the amount of power like a repeater. They take the power that they already have and just send it off. So if I have a power, full power of 15, then it's going to go through here, it's going to be 14, and then come back here 13, 12, and just like that. And that's what actually allows the uh, this droppers to continue going. Now, like I said, there is a limit because as soon as this comparator clock completely shuts off, that means all items are going to stop. And if you have an item elevator that is too high, items are going to get stuck part way up. So I've actually figured out exactly how high it is that you can build one of these before you start getting stuck. So what we have here is this one is 18 blocks high with this chest being number 18. As soon as it reaches that, as soon as the redstone completely turns off, uh, all the items should be done uh, dispensing and they should, should completely turn off at the point that the last item reaches this chest. Now, you can actually edit how long uh, how far you can make this item elevator simply by adding one block. So what we've done is we've taken this uh, comparator clock right here, we've gotten rid of this redstone dust right here, and replaced it with this block. Now what's going to happen is that this is going to power this block, which is going to put power right here, and then this comparator is going to put power back into here, so it's going to go into here, it's going to be full power at 15, then it's going to go 14, and when it comes back around it's going to be 14 again, and 13 right here, and so on and so forth. With this uh, little uh, change that we've made, we can go all the way up to the top of this one, and this chest right here is block number 28. So again, this is block number 18, that's where items usually stop flowing. And then this one is block 18 with um, 28 where blocks stop flowing yet again. So yeah, that's basically all there is to this item elevator. Now if you actually want to create an item elevator that is actually taller than this, um, there are some modifications that need to be done. What you need to do is take this exact circuit down here and then at the very top of your uh, elevator, you need to create that circuit yet again. Now, I honestly don't know how uh, many times you may want to repeat this, but that's how you would repeat it if you come in the case where it does not go up far enough. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this redstone tutorial. If you guys like this video, uh, make sure to hit that like button down below. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Thank you guys for watching, and with that, I will see you guys later.